Um, <clears throat> well, uh, my, my parents started the business, uh, Arbordale Landscaping, 40 years ago, uh, 1981, so I guess almost 40 years ago. And, um, and yeah, so I sort of grew up around the business. Um, it's sort of all I've ever known about sort of landscaping and sort of watching my dad sort of grow up, um, um, you know, sort of helping him on Saturdays every once in a while and, you know, seeing him drive, drive the big trucks and stuff like that. So um, I would say I've always sort of had an interest in landscaping just because it's sort of in the family, you know, my parents started the business together. Um, and then, uh, yeah, and then when I sort of came of age, you know, my, my dad was a firm believer that, you know, you had to be sort of of a, you know, past high school in order to be able to work for the business. So um, he hired me after, right after I graduated high school. Um, I was actually destined to go, uh, I went to Brock University actually for one year. I took sports management thinking sort of, you know, that was going to be a passion of mine. Um, but I worked the summer, you know, before I went to Brock for, uh, for my parents' business. And, uh, and I actually really enjoyed, uh, enjoyed the work. I thought, I thought it was really fun. Um, you know, the great group of guys and, uh, it was just, you know, it was just, you know, tangible, rewardable sort of work. Um, so I went to university and sort of didn't enjoy it all that much, you know, wasn't sort of, uh, wasn't really sort of engaged, didn't, uh, didn't, uh, didn't really take to it. And, uh, my dad sort of approached me around Christmas, asked me how it was going and, uh, over the Christmas break. And I said, uh, I said, eh, you know, I don't know if it's for me. And he said, well, you know, you had a great season with the business. Um, would you ever consider a career in landscape? And I sort of, uh, so he gave me sort of half a year to think about it. And I, I did. And, uh, and then by the end of the year, I'd sort of confirmed my beliefs that, uh, that maybe the university life sort of wasn't for me. Um, and uh, I enrolled in Humber College for the uh, next year and uh, took the landscape technician program. Um, and that sort of, that was sort of the launch into my, into my landscape career. So I did the two year uh, diploma program there um, at Humber. And then, uh, yeah, and then I sort of worked my way up through the business um, doing that. So then, you know, I started out just like anybody else, you know, pushing wheelbarrows and mixing mortar and cutting stone and doing everything that sort of, you know, you know, a general sort of laborer would do coming into a business and, you know, work my way through the ranks. And, you know, that was a big thing that my dad really wanted for, for me and for my sort of career was to sort of, you know, not sort of just jump into the business and all of a sudden be in the office or anything like that. Like he wanted me to learn it from the ground up, which I think was really instrumental in sort of my career I think it, it gave me uh, like a really good respect for the work but it also gave me um, a really good um, knowledge base of how things are built and how things are you know you know created and you know like learning how to you know apply in the field really gave me a good opportunity to learn how to estimate and how to design just based on that practical experience um, so yeah, so then I worked in the, I worked in the field. I mean, I've been with the business now for 18 years. And, um, so, so yeah, again, I worked my way up through, through the ranks. Um, then I sort of made my way into the office sort of slowly. First, it was sort of working in the, uh, in the winter time, just helping sort of push out extra designs, push out some estimates, um, do, do more of the sort of the crew organization, truck, truck management, you know, tools, machinery, that sort of stuff. Um, and then sort of developed into a full-time position into the office. Um, and then uh, about four, five, four years ago now, my dad sort of um, passed on the reins to me and uh, I've been running the business sort of ever since. And uh, yeah, things are going quite smoothly. Yeah, we sort of, we have, you know, we average about four or four crews in the field, you know, between 10 and 12 guys does fluctuate through the, uh, does fluctuate through the season, just sort of depending on, uh, on how much work we have and, uh, and sort of the seasonality of uh, sort of some of our employees who come in sort of, uh, we bring in some summer, summer students and whatnot, just to sort of help through the, uh, the spring and summer pushes. Just, just as much as landscaping has always been a part of my life, Landscape Ontario sort of has gone hand in hand with that. Um, you know, I know, you know, 
being that my dad was sort of um, so involved with uh, with Landscape Ontario, you know, being uh, working his way through the sort of through the board and through the ranks and uh, right up to sort of president, you know, I've, I've sort of grown up around Landscape Ontario, you know, knowing, you know, knowing all the guys, you know, knowing Tony and, you know, Jackie and, you know, all those people, you know, even from a young age, you know, it's 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 uh, it's always been sort of a part of my life. Um, and so then adopting the business, I've never known anything, but, you know, life or landscaping through landscape Ontario too. So, you know, landscape Ontario is just sort of, it's, it's a part of, of my business. So, you know, I wouldn't say I, I see my business without it, to be honest. That, I'd say the biggest thing would be the community. Uh, you know, and I really like the community aspect to it. Um, the fact that there's sort of education, uh, an education piece to it. I mean, that was one of my dad's big things when I was sort of coming up through the business was that every year I had to take two or three courses and it wasn't forced on me. I enjoyed it. You know, like I would take, you know, whatever courses I could to sort of up my knowledge and sort of, you know, and just keep current, right? Like you sort of, you go to school and then you, you know, you're there for two years and then you just get in the field and you sort of, you know, you, you sort of get this, this tunnel vision, whereas, you know, the opportunity for for further education to sort of better myself and and uh and better my career was uh was there so i really love the education piece that that comes along with it um you know and again going back to sort of the community was you know going to the town halls um you know going to the events that they host um you know and just sort of you know rubbing elbows with everybody of the same in the same industry everybody's sort of fighting the same fight as you so it's 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 nice to be able to sort of um lean on people and uh, and you know and and camaraderie between sort of you know like-minded people um i would say as of the last two or three years now one of my favorite pieces has actually been the peer group the uh, the peer-to-peer -peer group i've really sort of uh taken taken that up to uh you know as, as an important part of my career now um just because there is so much good information i mean one thing that you know sort of happened in in my business was you know it really got sort of pushed pushed on to me a little bit sooner than you know me or well or my dad would have preferred you know because my dad got diagnosed with uh with parkinson's so um so our, our business transition wasn't probably as smooth or or um you know or or as sort of handily done as as i would have appreciated just because um he wasn't able to sort of bestow a lot of the um you know a lot of the information a lot of the sort of the inner books and a lot of that sort of important stuff so um having the peer group to lean on has been great for me to be able to sort of you know go to other business owners and ask them how they do it and you know how they would approach certain difficult situations and that's been uh, that's been really really helpful for me for the last couple of years Yeah, I mean, you know, it's it's so funny, you know, like the, the, the obvious selling point is the perks, right? Is is to sort of say, you know, hey, you get, you know, there's a truck discount and then there's 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 benefits to being a member through sort of, you know, some of their vendors and some of their suppliers and some people who are associated sort of thing. So I think that's, you know, that's that's an easy sort of sell. But I think the, um, the it's 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 and it maybe it's harder to express. But again, going back to that sort of sense of community, you know, like I think I think it's it's as much time as you put into it, you're going to get just as much out. You know what I mean? So you know, I don't like I don't even think about the amount of money that we put into it. Like it's you know what is it six hundred dollars a year or whatever? You know, like you build that into your costs. Like that's that's something that that uh, that you just sort of take care of on, on that end. But it's it's worth it in spades. I mean, you put the you put that logo on your on your trucks. You know, you uh, you wear it proudly and uh and people recognize it right it's a recognizable brand you know it's it's the closest thing that landscapers have to a trade union it's something that we sort of that, that we need to sort of embrace we need to sell because you know it's it uh it sells quality you know just having that on your trucks and you know telling your clients that you are part of landscape ontario is is something that i do and that i'm proud of you know because then it gives it educates your clients as well that 
you are invested, you're invested in the industry, you know, you're a professional company, you know, and it's funny because, you know, I've had clients before where I've told that to and they go, oh, that's really interesting, you know, like, you know, now, now, now people become more aware of Landscape Ontario and they become more aware of, of hiring a company through Landscape Ontario because it, it, it makes you more, more professional and more accountable.